In the U.S., uh, the entertainment giant Time Warner has officially rejected a multi-billion dollar offer from Rupert Murdoch to take over the company. How big was this deal? If the merger had gone through, it would have combined the two of the largest players in the cable network business and solidified Murdoch's global media empire. The Time Warner CEO Jeff Brooks announced that the board voted to turn down the bid, saying it wasn't in the company's best interest. The offer, which was first reported by the New York Times, consisted of stock and cash valued at about 80 billion U.S. dollars, and was first made in June. Time Warner owns a range of media properties, including the Warner Brothers Movie Studio and cable channels such as HBO and CNN. The proposed takeover by the CEO of 21st Century Fox signals his plans to expand into new markets and billions of consumers. Television content is becoming more valuable, and having good cable networks is becoming more valuable. Time Warner has very good TV content, biggest TV studio in Hollywood uh, by some measures, uh, and has some crown jewel cable networks, among other things. Following the news of the failed takeover, Time Warner stock rose nearly 17% on the New York Stock Exchange. However, analysts say Murdoch will continue to make more attractive offers in his pursuit of Time Warner. Terry? More attractive uh, offers. Uh, we'll be watching this uh, story as it develops. Thank you so much for those uh, stories, and we'll see you back here in just about two hours.